So what we're going to do in this video is all we're going to do is adjust the angle of the connect. Now what we're going to make is this little program here, which is a simple program where it's just got the video feed from the connect and a slider, which when you slide down, click adjust, the angle of the connect adjusts to that angle. And it's a simple little program and it's really easy to do and so I'm just going to show you how you do it. So here we are back in the window, the project that we made back in the introduction to the Connect SDK Beta 2. Um, so if you've not followed that, go follow that. Um, but if, even if you don't want to follow that, then we've basically got a 640 by 480 window, um, which just holds an image file that we're passing the Connect Video Data to. This is what I look like. Hello, that's, that's the program basically. So if we close that, and get back onto the code. Now, what we're going to do is make a slider. So the slider, um, you slide, and the angle adjusts accordingly. Um, so we need to make space for that. I'm going to make the width about 100 pixels bigger. Um, there you go. But you can do it on the side, but I just did it in XAML because it was there. Um, and if we go to our toolbox, we need to find our slider now. So we'll put that in. Slider, where are you, slider? There we go. Slider. We just click and drag it in and put it in that blank space. Now, first off, it's in the worst possible way, so we need to find the orientation value and set it to vertical. And let's just adjust it so it looks somewhat correct on our space. And there, there we go. Make it a bit bigger. There we go. Now the connect angle can only go between values of 27 and minus 27. Zero obviously being pointing straight forward, 27 degrees up, 27 degrees down. Um, so we need to limit our slider to those values. And we've got the maximum and minimum values here to do so. So uh, the minimum, the maximum rather, would be 27, and the minimum minus 27. There you go, rocket science. Yeah, you've just done rocket science. Okay, so but now we've done that, we need to rename our slider something, and we're going to call it slider angle, just so we can reference it to something we, something we know in the code. Right, so now we've got the slider, but we have no idea what that value is when we get the slider, so we just want a simple label that will display that data. Um, a label, change the content to zero, because that's vaguely what it's going to look like. Um, and then horizontal content center just because it looks better and the change of font size just to make it look bigger and easier to read and all that uh, okay so I think that'll do if you move it up a bit to there uh, give it a name because we're going to need to reference that as well um, we're going to call that LBL slider value okay so we've got that, and we have that. All we need now is a button to submit whatever value the slider is. So we go in, into our toolbox again and drag out a button. Um, that's fine, really. It's just a bog standard button. We'll just change the thing to adjust, so it's a bit more relevant. Line it up a bit. And there we go. That's that's all we need to do. Well, apart from one little thing, we've changed the button name to BTN set angle. Okay, so that's in terms of the setup for the whole thing. That's all we need. Um, it looks exactly the same, just that now we've got some stuff there to play with. So close that, and now all we need to do is code that stuff. Um, we'll start with the the slider that, because that makes logical sense. Um, if you double click on these objects on your window, then they will create for you, Visual Studio will create for you, um, the method that's most used for that thing. And for the slider, it is the value change. So if we double click that, we'll come up with this uh, method here, value changed. And if we go in there, we've got to put our code in. Now, the code to change the angle um, is not going to come in this bit, it's going to come in the button. But, but the, the code is pretty easy. I mean, all we're going to write here is two lines of code. Um, okay, so if we on slider changed, we need to change the value of the label. So LBL, oh, slider value, I called it LCL, did I? Oh dear. 
let's go change that quick. Ignore that. No one, no one said anything. Oh, could have done. Right, okay. So LBL slider value dot content, because we're changing what's in the, the label, um, equals uh, slider value. So the value of whatever the slider is. So slider angle dot value is that. But because slider angle dot value returns a value that it doesn't like, um, we're going to have to put an um, int there because then we'll make sure that it's a single integer and not a decimal or something or some other value that the label doesn't like or the connect doesn't like. Uh, if we go back to our uh, XAML here, now we're just going to code the, the stuff for the button. So if we double click the button, there we go, um, we've got the click event there so when when the button's clicked all we want to do is a, a couple of things and this is where the actual code for the the angle comes in and it's simple it, we're just referencing the nui um then there's a thing called nui camera and and then it's, it's pretty self-explanatory elevation angle um we do that and then that's what we set the value um of what we want it like i said 27 to minus 27 it can go um and then it's just the same as what we've got up before int slider angle dot value. Oop, if we put an equals in there, that would also help. So save that, and if we run that, and then we get our slider, that's at zero at the moment, we move it up, and then it should go upwards. There we go, it's, it's moved up, and to just to prove a point, there we go, move it down, and it goes down. It's simple. Um, just that's all, that's all you're gonna need to do. Um, but if we want to make our own little code a little bit special, if we want our code to um, show what the angle of the connect is and adjust the slider appropriately on the first load, so it doesn't always default to zero, um, that's just a simple learner code in our setup connect function that we made previously. Uh, just after our video stream opens, it is just slider angle dot value, so the value of the slider equals um, the thing we made on the button, so newy dot newy camera dot elevation angle. There we go. Um, and so if we save that, we run it, it's now all down to the angle that we put. Um, this can sometimes vary, um, but really it's not supposed to be used as an accurate measurement. You're not supposed to be like, oh, I need to do that one angle more. It's not for that. It's for getting the player in the right space visible to the connect. Um, so I wouldn't worry about that if it does that. Uh, so there you go. That's that's all we really need to adjust the angle of the connect. Best of luck with your connect projects, I guess.